Okay, when we're young, the years can't seem to go fast enough. But does time move faster as we grow older? Do you sometimes find yourself saying, wow, where those years go? Where those years go? They went by so fast. And then you tend to get upset because you don't feel like you've really accomplished everything you want. Well, today we are helping you take advantage of every day and telling you how to stop and smell the roses. Joining us now is Dr. Greg Kaysan, a Los Angeles psychologist to the stars. Welcome to the show, Dr. Greg. Well, thank you. Love to have you here. And, you know, we were thinking about this the other day because as we have a birthday, we tend to think of, wow, the years go by so fast. I uh -huh. hear people say that all the time. So uh -huh. I thought this would be good to talk about, to, to, to talk about the theory that you mentioned called Oh, psychochronometry? Oh, log time there theory. There you go. Okay, here, this, I theory. love this topic because it, it's something that I actually had to do some digging around. This is, the, there's a field, field called psychochronometry, which is the psychology of the perception of time. Wow. And I actually had to turn to that and say, hey, what the hell's going on here? So <laughs> I, I found this thing called log time theory, which seems to be the prevailing theory of why we perceive that time moves faster as we get older. Mm -hmm. And this is essentially that your age is how you judge how time goes by. So if you're 10 years old, let's just mm -hmm. say 10 years old, one year is 10% of your life, so time tends to move slower. But if you're 20 years old, one year is 5% of your life. And as you get older, that percentage goes lower and lower. So you, so you actually feel like time is moving faster. But that probably isn't the only theory that's prevailing. Some people mm -hmm. think it's just biological. Some people think that we just um, that are, there's something in our clock, in our internal clock, that makes us perceive time faster as we get older. So as we start to slow down, we start to perceive time moving more quickly. Oh, so there is such a thing that it, it, it is real because sometimes we it think we look forward to turning 18. We look forward to turning 21 so that years go by fast. And then when you get older, don't you look don't look forward really to turning 40 or 50 <laughs> yeah. often. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, but in fact, those are very important years. And, mm -hmm. and as you get older, people get happier. Isn't that nice? So, oh. it, so it really is, we get older, it's a very good thing. Okay. So how do we stop and, as you say, smell the roses and make sure that we are taking advantage of each minute of every day? What, taking, what is the first thing that we need to think the about? The first thing we need to do is to stop look and listen. Okay. We learned this in elementary school, or at least I think most did. You sit down and you think and, and see what you're doing and really some people, they, they live their life at such a furious pace and they try to move so quickly through their lives that they don't really stop, look and listen. And when people are moving at a furious pace, they're often avoiding what's going on in the present. Uh -huh. So they probably do need to slow down. Okay, okay. What else? And the then, second question you should ask yourself is what right, do you value? Right, what do you okay. value? And that's really, you know, a good way to do this is just to sit down, take out a piece of paper and say, you know, what have you done to this day? What have you accomplished? What are you, what, what's happened in your life? And then think, do I, if I have one more year to live, what do I want to do? How do I want to spend that last year? Mm -hmm. And really compare those things. And you can start to get a sense of what your values are. Sometimes it's family. Sometimes it's accomplishment. Sometimes it's changing the world. Whatever that is, get a sense of what your values are. And then focus on those things. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, when things are very unpleasant, our brain goes into activation and we perceive time moving slower. So wow. with, just think about it. If somebody's had a trauma or a car accident, if you've ever been in a car accident, people always say it just seemed like it was going in slow motion. Yeah. Police often say this too when they're in shootouts. Um, but what, the good thing to do is just to, is to uh, focus on your priorities, what it is you want in life, and then unpleasant circumstances tend to move a little more quickly. So focusing on your values is a very good oh. thing. And a good way to do that is to write it down. Write it okay. down because, you know, we always forget these things. Yes, yes. So the next one would probably be develop relationships. This is what I'm reading here. Develop, yes, okay. yes, you want to develop your relationships. Actually, relationships are where we can really slow down time because relationships and intimacy is scary for almost everybody. <laughs> That's for that? sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so focusing on relationships will slow down time and it will enrich it too. So as we get older, this tends to get a little easier to do. That's another good thing about growing older, is that we, we can focus on relationships much more easily. When we're younger, it's very threatening and scary, so oh, we often that's avoid true. it. that's true. And obviously, you learn, experience, and grow as the years go by. Is that what you mean when you say that we become happier? Is that why? We learn, experience, and grow. And yes, we do become happier. But this is actually advice. Okay. Take classes. 
Um, oh. Travel to strange lands. Get to know new people. Try something new with your partner, something you've never tried before. It doesn't have to be in the bedroom. It could be any yeah. old thing. Yeah. Um, find a cause. Volunteer. Do something that brings you meaning and, and prioritize your, your life around that meaning. And then you can, it, time will actually move a little more quickly sometimes because you're doing things you love and making meaning in the world, but you can slow it down by making it new, activating your brain and making this a new experience. That's a great, that's great advice. That is really good advice. And I know that there are stages in your life that you wrote about and that you are telling us about today, for right. example, the 16 to 18. 16 to 18 is, is really our time when we're escaping dominance, mm -hmm. you know, getting out of our parents' shadow. And this is a time when kids are often very rebellious. Then 18 to 22, they're often learning to be a little more independent, saying, hey, what's going on here? 22 to 28 is building, when they start to go to school or they've been going to school, getting their first jobs, etc. And 29 to 34, believe it or not, is often a time of questioning, often that turning 30, wait a minute, what path am I on? Oh, is this yeah. the person I want to be with? What about these kids? Are these my kids? You know, <laughs> whatever it is. Or is this, you know, is, is this the career I want to be on? But 35 to 43, this is the time when people start to accomplish their goals, focus on their goals, and feel an urgency. Okay. This is the time of urgency. 43 to 50 is stability, and 50 and over, mellowing when you start to appreciate life. Oh, and enjoy it as well. And enjoy it. That's great, and it's great to have that to look forward to.